Okay, so in this video we're looking at circumference of a circle. Uh, now circumference of a circle, I don't know why we need to use a fancy word. Circumference is only ever used for circles, uh, but it really just means perimeter. So if you ask for the circumference of a circle, really we're just asking you for the perimeter of a circle, which is the distance around the circle. So if we started from a single point, how far would we need to go to walk all the way around that shape? All right, you've probably learned this stuff before, but let's go over it really quickly. The perimeter or the circumference of a circle, I'll use C, the circumference of a circle is equal to pi d. Okay, you might have seen this formula written a different way in other places. You might have seen circumference equals 2 pi r. Now, I know that you may have seen this before, but we're going to avoid that. There's a very good reason to avoid that formula, which I'll explain later on. But when we're doing circumference or perimeter of a circle, please try to use this formula here. It'll avoid confusion later on. Okay, so remember the D stands for diameter here. And diameter is simply the distance from one edge through the center to the other edge. So it's all the way across the circle. So this first circle is really easy to calculate. Circumference equals pi d, which is equal to pi times, in this case the diameter is 12. Now, make sure that you use your pi button on your calculator here. Uh, so circumference equals pi, so I need to press shift this button here, times 12, 37.699. Now if I round that to two decimal places, it's going to be 37.70. Uh, so that's our perimeter or our circumference of that circle. Okay, let's move on to this one. Now the same rule applies here, circumference equals pi diameter but they haven't given us the diameter. They've actually given us half of the diameter, which is called the radius. Really simple though, if you want to know the diameter and you're only given the radius, you just need to double it. So that's an eight centimeter radius, which means that double that's gonna be the diameter, which is 16. Don't forget to do that. That's a mistake that a lot of people make when it comes to the test. Is it a radius, is it a diameter, and then decide whether you need to multiply it by two or not. Okay, same deal, pi times 16, we get our answer 50.265. If I round that to two decimal places, it'll be 50.27. Okay, moving on. Uh, this is a half circle or a semicircle. Now, if we want to know the perimeter, we're going to need to find two things. We're going to need to find the straight bit and we're gonna to need to find the curvy bit. Okay, so I'm gonna do them in two separate sections. The straight bit, that's really easy. Simply 15 centimeters. Now the curvy bit, just a bit more complicated. It's going to be pi d, that's the circumference of a full circle so that's pi d. So if we only want that bit of the curvy bit, it's pi d divided by two. It's half of it. Uh, now the diameter is 15, so it's gonna be pi times 15 divided by two. You can put that into your calculator. Pi times 15 divided by two. You get 23.56. Now finally, we know the straight bit's 15, we know the curvy bit is 23.56, so the total perimeter of this shape is going to be equal to 15 plus 23.56, which is 38.56 centimetres. Okay, uh, I've picked a really, really difficult one here to finish off with. Uh, you want to know the perimeter of that shape. Uh, we'll do it all in one bit so you can see at least how it would go. The perimeter of this shape is equal to, I'm going to start in this spot here, 5 plus 3 
plus the curvy bit here. Now you'll remember that the curvy bit from our last bit of half a circle is pi d divided by 2. Uh, I might even just, that d will turn that into 3 because we can see the diameter of the circle is 3. So pi times 3 divided by 2 plus it looks like these lengths are the same. I'll just put those lines in there so we can see that. So that's a 5, so plus 5. And we can see that these bits of those, that triangle are the same length as well. So 4 and 4. Now, I'll just find out what that curvy bit is. Uh, 4.71. So, 5 plus 3 plus 4.71 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4. Now if we do all of that on our calculator, 5 plus 3 plus 4.71 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4, we get an answer of 25.71 centimetres. Okay, uh, a lot covered in this video. We've looked first of all at circle with a diameter, circle with a radius where we had to increase the uh, multiply that by 2 to find the diameter. A semicircle where we had to find the curvy bit and the straight bit and add them together. And then finally a really difficult composite shape where we needed to be really careful and go all the way around that shape to find the eventual perimeter.